Hi, I'm Lynn McGee, and I'm with the Office of Public Affairs. This is our first Zoom interview, um, Self-Care in a Pandemic, a talk with Leslie Rennes, Chair of the BMCC Health Education Department. Hi, Leslie. Hi, Lynn. How are you? I'm good. Thanks. So I'm going to ask you a two-part question. What is self-care, and why is it particularly important right now? So I would define self-care as taking care of yourself uh, as much as possible and as consistently as possible. Um, it's doing the things that are good for you and also that bring you joy and make you feel good uh, and doing those things on a regular basis. And I think it's always important, but in particular now during this time of crisis, it's even more important. Um, a month ago, our lives were very different, and now we've been thrust into this very uh, traumatic experience for a lot of us. We're dealing with fear. We're dealing with grief. Um, and in order for us to kind of be there for others, we definitely have to be able to take care of ourselves first. I know as a professor, um, I found that it, it is uh, essential that I am taking care of myself and making sure I'm okay if I am going to at all be able to be there for my students. So I've had students who have um, been sick themselves. They're taking care of loved ones who are sick. They're trying to juggle taking classes um, through distance learning mode. They're working, they're worried about their future. So, and they're bringing all of that when um, we are having our virtual classroom sessions. So I need to make sure that I'm present and able to be there for them if uh, I am able, if I'm going to be able to deal with all of the things that they have on their plates right now. So the first thing is I have to take care of myself. You talk about habits a lot when you talk about self-care. Can you um, talk to us about habits and looking at self-care in a holistic way? Yeah. So um, the thing that's really important with self-care is that it's not just something that you practice during a time of crisis. You actually need to be able to fall back on and depend on your self-care habits it, when you enter a time of crisis. So the things that I am doing now to take care of myself were things that I was, they were a part of my life prior to all of this. Um, and now I am relying on them and or ramping them up in order to make sure that I am taking the best possible care of myself during this time, difficult time. Um, and the other thing about self-care is that it's really important that you look at it holistically and what I mean by that it is not just taking care of yourself physically but it's also paying attention to your spiritual needs your emotional and intellectual needs um, your social needs it's making sure that you are doing something in all of those areas to be your best so it seems like you're saying there's these like four main areas exercise and movement nutrition sleep and then the social, emotional, spiritual part of self-care. Um, would you say that that's, that's it? Do you, do you want to add to that? Yeah, um, I, they're all important. And I know for me, um, during this time of crisis, what I've had to do is kind of rework and rethink uh, how I am taking care of myself in those areas. For example, uh, for me, a schedule is really important. So when I was, um, when we were on campus, that schedule kind of revolved around when I needed to be at work. Um, but now that we are working remotely, ironically, it's harder for me to keep that schedule. So although I am still participating in exercise classes virtually, um, and I'm still trying to eat well, I found that I've had to be even more um, um, purposeful in making sure that I'm scheduling my exercise classes, that I'm thinking about when I'm eating and what I'm eating on a consistent basis so that I make sure that I don't get off of uh, the practices that I had prior to COVID-19. So all of those things, for me, having a schedule around those things makes it easier for me to be able to accomplish um, taking care of myself to the best of my ability. You want to tell people um, to get more information? Sorry. Sure, sure. I let, um, so with CUNY, we are fortunate to ha be a part of uh, Wellness NYC, which um, they are providing free 
and virtual access to yoga, uh, nutrition education, and also exercise classes. And also New York State uh, has partnered with Headspace, which is a uh, meditation app, and they've partnered to provide uh, meditation for individuals for free. So you can find that on Headspace, the app. Um, and the last thing I want to include is that it's really important for us to understand that self-care isn't, um, it's not just a luxury that we all need to really take care of ourselves and that we should keep it simple in terms of just making sure we're getting in movement, making sure that we're eating well and getting the sleep that we need, but understand that that for some people, even those simple things are hard to come by. So as a society, I think it's really important that we provide the resources for everyone to be able to take good care of themselves so that they can kind of make it through this very difficult time. Thanks so much for your time. Leslie Rennes, Chair of the EMCC Health Education Department. Thanks for having me. Sure, that was my pleasure.